<laughs> the little girl sleeping. And dad's sleeping. <laughs> Hey guys, at the parents' house today, uh, took them out to some uh, Mediterranean food. We had some kebabs over there at Royal Kebab in Citrus Heights. It was pretty damn good. I'm going to give them a good Yelp review as soon as I finish this video. Uh, back at the old house, I'll show you guys around real quick. This is the, uh, the living room with the fireplace over there. Remember guys, it used to have a couch here, couch there, tables and all that. Uh, yeah, all that stuff's gone. So I'm going to uh, show you guys some of the... Little things we have on the wall. Here's my parents. Here's me and my brother Adam. Me and my brother Adam. Some more pictures. Some baby pics. Right there. There's him. And maybe just a couple more. Me and my brother Adam on at Christmas. Me and my brother Chris. My brother Adam, my parents' wedding. Yeah, that's enough for now. <laughs> Uh, we have like my trophies in this room. This was for my first competition. Western USA Natural. Second place teen. Second place junior men. <laughs> that was the show that I bulked into. Uh, I went from like 180 to 185 pounds for that contest prep. <laughs> didn't know any better. Didn't know what I was doing. I was told to eat as much food as possible and spend as much energy as possible. Word for word pretty much. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Man, um, this is one of my favorite pictures of all time. Me, my mom, Adam, and my grandma. Right there. Looks like I was probably about five or six years old. <laughs> Never shown you guys this before. This was my first glass art, or like one of my glass art projects back in my pickup days. So I have the uh, health sign up there, then pick up, and there's a money sign artist and uh, I think this one was like happiness so money health happiness pick up artist I really used to be into that kind of stuff I went on a rampage of sorts when I was like 17 18 years old just met hundreds of girls in, in such a short time frame and actually really helped me in my personal development to be honest um, kind of being exposed to that that little niche that little world and it's funny because, you know, you, you know that, that show, uh, not the show, but the YouTube channel, Simple Pickup? Really cool guys. I'd love to meet those guys one day. But what they're doing, <laughs> it's insane. Uh, well, first of all, total props to those guys. But it's crazy because when I was like 17 years old, um, which was back in uh, like 2008, so YouTube was, it, it existed. But I remember I, I hella wanted to start a YouTube channel where we try to pick up girls but I could never figure out the logistics for it I always was hella scared I was like yeah but I have to blot out people's faces this and that and uh, I didn't have the cameras or anything like that back in 2007 or whatever or 2008 and and yeah I was never able to make that channel never got started but it's really cool to see someone that or a group of people that took that took that idea, the same idea that I had, uh, obviously not from me, but I mean, we all probably have had this idea before, but uh, they really took off running with it, and now they're a, they're a growing company based off of that original concept. So it's, it's incredible to see what they've done with that. Also in this room, picture from Brandon that he shot of me, and another picture of Brandon. This was my 2011 Open Short Second Place Muscle Mayhem. Where's my other one? Uh, what's this? Here's my 2011 First Place Open Short in uh, Washington that I got. Over here is my First Place NGA um, Open Short. And then here's my First Place Muscle Mayhem 2013 Open Short. So. I've gotten a couple first place or three first places. I got a couple second, three three second places, or whatever. I can't believe I've actually been at this many shows. Damn, it feels like I just got started yesterday. My parents um, painted uh, this wall right here. Looks like, because for years it just got dirtier and dirtier, and they painted that. 
I decided, you know, I wasn't gonna take these to my new house just because, like, I already have, I'm already enough in this bodybuilding world that I could just leave this here. Uh, to be honest, these these trophies, they're really nothing more than just a reminder, I guess, of, uh, you know, of my experiences and, like, the people I met through bodybuilding. Um, I can never really see myself trying to, ma like, amass just as many t trophies as possible. Like, honestly, don't give a shit, I'll just leave them there. Uh, okay, so here's upstairs now, guys. You remember this room? This is where we had the banner, the LOA banner over there. And uh, there's actually quite a, quite a bit of, a lot of my stuff left over here still. Here's a picture of uh, Chris and I, or Chris and me in, uh, I forgot the name of this park over, uh, I think it's near Birmingham um, in the UK. This, uh, this thing called the Stealth. Took a really cool picture of both like throwing up poses. Um, I'm considering taking the pool table to my house, but we'll see about that. Um, I, I, I kind of like having my house really open, like lots of empty room. I don't know why I like that, but I just do. Here's upstairs. My mom cleaned uh, this place up. Uh, somebody's probably going to be moving into that room. Um, one of my dad's close friends. And uh, let's take a look at that. So here's my old room, guys. <laughs> here it is. Yep, nothing in here. A lot of memories made in this room, I'll just say. A lot of things. I've actually lived in this room multiple times throughout my childhood. Uh, I had to share it with Adam when I was like eight or nine or ten years old or however years old I was. We had to share this room because uh, I had my grandma living over there and my brother living down other my other brother living downstairs. So uh, and then I was able to move back into this room once once he uh, moved into. No, he always stayed in this room. What am I saying? Once he moved out, I moved in. But I've lived in this room before as well. A lot of memories made in this room. <laughs> I've lived in like every damn room in this house. It's crazy. And I even have some of my stuff in this room. So. Man, just memories. All these like, uh, you know when you're in elementary school and they give you those awards like student of the year, student of the trimester or whatever. So, just a lot of these things. I was such a good boy <laughs> in elementary school. It was insane. I always fought for that student of the trimester. Uh, I think there was like one year I didn't get it first. I got like the second trimester or something. I have some uh, little mementos. I think this was from my boy Sharif in the UK. I'm pretty sure that was, that was the name. But I know the face that goes along with it by heart, but I'm not sure if I got the name correct. Some papers here. I got this uh, this poster that I'm bringing back to my house. Quite a few things that that I left here, but it's this is oh yeah, my bulletin board with all my important shit on it. It's funny because that shit over there must not be that important. If I didn't even, if, uh, you know, if I'm doing fine without that, <laughs> that's crazy. Got all these slot machines, and I remember you guys were always asking, what the fuck is that behind you, man? You have slot machines? Why? The reason is, is like, when I was in middle school and starting high school, my, my uh, dad really wanted to kind of make a game room for us, just to like, you know, have a cool place for us to all hang out. And this was actually the place to be when I was a kid. All of our friends would come up here, we'd play pool, we'd play poker, um, air hockey, or foosball. Kept us away from drugs and uh, getting girls pregnant. It was good, you know, it was a good place to hang out, just a neutral environment. Uh, it, was, it was good for us. I liked it. With these uh, slot machines, <laughs> they were good for the first year or so. They make a lot of noise, they go crazy, you hit jackpots, they go wild. You can program them to uh, let more or less money out. And it's just like these little coins. And it's just, just cool to think of all the shit that we've 
what's happened. <laughs> this backyard, man, so many things. So many, just, we used to swim in this pool every fucking day in the summertime. And I honestly can't even remember swimming in this pool for the last couple of years now. Like we would never, we never, we barely ever use this pool anymore. But as a kid we use it all the time. Remember we used to have giant redwood trees, like almost, I don't know, redwood trees, but they were like close to redwood trees. Oh, up in there, now we have like these, these fruit trees, but a lot of them. Over there we have like an orange tree, over here we have a lemon tree. They've been there forever. We have a, like a fruitless plum tree. It's, it still drops like little plums. Roses over there. Yeah, there's a lot of memories here. A lot of good, good memories. I've only moved out for well, like one or two months now. But it's cool to just visit. And I'm here, uh, I came down here today to uh, take my parents out to lunch. But also, uh, they reminded me that I have a lot of, a lot of stuff to bring back home. Like this little thing. I gotta take this pillow. There's just a bunch of stuff. Lots of little things. Yeah. Memories, man. Memorize. Get over here. Here at Royal Kebab, got me some Mediterranean food. Check that out. And the chicken wrap right there. Mom in the house. Dad in the house. Do you even kebab? At BJ's with Corey and Chris. So, deep dish pizza. I don't give a fuck. Right there, in my mouth. We get this closed out. Yeah. How are we gonna do this? Chop it up. Three ways. Matt's Three ways? Okay. Using the bathroom. And I'm recording this shit on his shit while he's in the bathroom. Say something uh, profound, Corey. What's up? What is that is not profound. What a bitch is. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm slightly. I'm recording you recording me. Slightly more profound. One more, something Confucius might say. If you go to bed with an itchy booty, you're gonna wake up with smelly fingers. Nah, nah, we all heard that one. Fuck. All right, I got hey. nothing. Cue the outro. <laughs> hey, quit being a little bitch! Ogus cake!